Okay, I'd like to call the Capital Improvement Committee meeting to it uh, for Tuesday, March 26th, 2024 at 2 p.m. What we're going to do is re uh, review what we came up with on our capital plan and hopefully approve it. It says minutes on here, but there is no attached minutes, so we should be relatively speedy. As you'll see on our uh, plan for 2025, you have to refer to the special town meeting attachment that I gave you. Um, some of the items that we came up with on our capital plan got moved over to the special town meeting so that we, they could be um, readily applied to the projects that need to be done quickly, such as the console for the cable, the school security system, and a few other things that are on the list. said at the last meeting I reached out to both uh, the town administrator and the finance director to confirm that our uh, larger than normal budget was acceptable and uh, they both said that we could we could manage to squeak that out this year and still be in a comfortable range you go to say something Chris am I correct in reading this that we increase it highway dump truck from the last year. La last year we had it at 265 and it was labeled an international. We took the labeling of international off. The new uh, cost estimate that Adam had received, which is on our this year for another truck, is 285, so we okay. increased that budget by 20,000. The, what's that? Roadway pavement repairs, that emergency. Is that 28,000? Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's for uh, Northwest, uh, Northeast Main Street, part of the uh, project that we did over there. There was some money that was taken from one account, and it's just a replacement. It's just moving it back. While they're reading through that map, the on here, uh, um, um, it's on my sp special thing. The seventy-seven thousand for the oil spill. You think that's going to pretty much clean us up, or is that going to just get us current? <coughs> yeah. Parsing our way through, however many pages of bureaucratic gobbledygook that we've got from the environmental consultants. What I gathered from it is that <clears throat> we will periodically have to take samples yep. and have those samples compared against the trend to see that they're going down and then once they're very low that they stay stable. And that requires their ongoing presence of they presented us with an invoice that really covered probably the better part of eight months to a year's worth of work behind, in arrears, right? So that's why we're coming to town meeting asking for those funds. Um, <clears throat> they don't think of issues the way we do. We think of, I'm going to close it, I'm going to put a lid on the jar, I'm going to seal it, and I'm going to put it in the hot water bath. It's going to be vacuum packed and we're all done. And it doesn't really work that way with environmental stuff. They're going to continue to monitor it for a while and hope that nothing changes. And if that's the case, after a couple of years, they will be able to finally put the lid on it. But if it stabilizes at a level that's above the threshold, or if it should go up and down a bit, um, 
they may be required by DEP to recommend a remedial measure that would be additional cost. So the case is very close to being closed because they were able to get a, a determination, which is th these exact words, no further action required. So at this time, we are not required to install any fans or any, you know, beneath the soil sniffers Test that would gather gas. Yeah. None of that is necessary. We don't have to do anything. But it is premature to say that we are going to close the incident. Is so, that as thick as mud? Because that's about what I got out of that letter. So the monitoring will probably go on for the next year and a half or so. Good news is we're trending down on our results, so if we continue we're to do that, we're in the right direction. Uh, it'll be a good thing. Anybody have any questions on the capital plan? Is it what everybody remembers we did last week? Gene, has Adam been by with uh, the boiler repair? I'm sorry? The boiler repair. The boiler repair bill. No. So just to apprise everyone, <clears throat> our boiler structure downstairs has a series of cast iron pieces that all fit together. They're big chambers, for lack of a better word. And one of those had leaked this winter during the warranty period, so we filed a warranty claim. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer has denied the warranty and the installer is appealing that denial of the warranty. <clears throat> and um, the installer is Reno, so yeah. you know, they're, they're on it. Somewhere around ten or 11,000 for the job. Yeah, I want to say we paid for that. Excuse me? Sir. I think he paid for that out of his operating budget. Or he thinks he can. One way or the other, I just want to flag it. Yeah. We are, we're approaching the end of the warranty period, and we've had one chamber that needs to be replaced. And this was a classic Adam, right? He found the part in New Hampshire, got in his <laughs> truck, drove to New Hampshire, bought it before anybody else could get it. This, this is the world we live in now, right? Yeah. We're just trying to fix simple stuff. We've got to go over the country. Um, so, we, so the boiler is fully operational again. It's just a little bit disappointing. Yeah. Uh, I think Renault actually makes a really good case for the warranty, and I, I think it's a classic example of somebody trying to wiggle their way out on a technicality. And at the appropriate time, we can involve town council and see if it's, a, if it's actionable. <clears throat> yeah, it should be warrantied. It's just a matter of going through it. It depends if they. <laughs> so, you know, on an emergency part of the repair, they put some sealing on there so um, if they didn't clean it all off before they took the picture or sent it back then that could be a, a little a bickering thing. a liquoring, bickering point that they could go back on yeah. but I don't there's no basis for it. The manufacturer is trying to say that the, the flame is, was misdirected and it was partial to one part of the chamber and that part got superheated and it's it's silly to say that. That, that would I guess it would be a, a fair argument to say if you were close to the flame, but since you were, it's probably, the sections are about six inches thick anyways, and I think there's like 10 or 12 of them in there, and we're four or five from the end. So <laughs> their argument about the flame hitting it is kind of weak. <laughs> that and all we can be required to do is our regular maintenance. And our records and we do it are impeccable. We yeah. have hit every scheduled maintenance on the boiler that was necessary. So. <coughs> Anybody come up with any questions? We we do have the presence of our finance director in case she can answer anything that you may have. Or? So, Mr. Chair, um, do we have any idea what our free cash amount is? I have cash? A, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Any idea what our free cash amount is going to well, be? Well, you started three million seven sixty one five eighty nine at the fall town meeting. We spent three thirty seven eight oh five, 
at the special town meeting this spring, there are, did you review it? I came in a little bit late. No. Um, there's 568,241 with the capital and the um, municipal center storm article only. That's another 1,385,000, I'm sorry, 1 million, yeah, 385 leaving an unspent balance of 1470541 if everything gets voted. Including in that is 75,000 for snow and ice, which, as Dick, can you knock on? <laughs> 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 okay, um, do it, yeah. <laughs> until May's done, I'm not saying anything. But that's the amount that was approved for deficit spending, so that's why that number is there. But if it's not needed, we'll pass over at town meeting. So, that does not include any other articles on the annual except for capital and municipal separate stormwater. That's it. There, I know there's some other articles that the board will be reviewing tonight, but I did not include any other articles except for those two. Thank you. So again, Right now, for 2025, we're looking at capital 1,345. On the annual town meeting, and then you have to add in, I think it's uh, 270,000 on the special. There's $50,000 that's um, being reincumbent, reappropriated, whatever Matt tells me the word is today, um, in the capital from the studio to the con to the. Um, their console you know, that they use broadcast thing. So not the 324 then? That's 324 minus the 50. Minus, minus the 50. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're actually. Because 50 is already there. And then there's some <laughs> turn backs. There's, I know there's a real big one from the police cruises of $614. Um, and there's probably some other ones that we can squeak out. <laughs> I'm closing assessors rebound. <laughs> Police cruises, and it's a transfer from the prior article for the cable studio equipment. I have a question for Gene. Absolutely. So, Gene, I'm looking at the wording of the for the special, and all of them say that the transfer will either be from available funds or from free cash. So. What are available funds? What well, account in, in, would that be? In Article 1, yeah. available funds would be, like, you're seeing some transfers from highway wages, public nurse, Norfolk Aggie, and receipts reserve. Those are available funds. So we're transferring from one account to another. We put free cash um, if we know it's coming from free cash. I got that, yeah. Um, so Snow and Ice is free cash. The prior bills will be free cash. The opioid, because the opioid last year closed into free cash, we have to take it from free cash to move it to a special uh, revenue account. Um, the capital improvement, you'll see that one is, the portion is free cash, the other ones are the articles that I was able to close that are completed, I received notification from the department, it was okay to close those. Um, municipal center oil spill is free cash, and the North Street project is free cash. So, for articles, one, three, and five, they all say from available funds. So right, because I'm mean, one is I'm decreasing one yeah. and I'm increasing the other. It has a net impact of zero, with the exception of the transfer from ambulance receipts reserve. That is coming from a different funding source. Would it be, uh, and for each of those articles, the available funds is, a little, is different, right? I mean. The available funds for Article 1 are going to be different than the available funds for Article 3, right? Article 3 will be free cash. No. And it, it would actually, I'll take that back, it will be free cash and a component of the cable because one of them the cable bill. So that's going to come from the cable receipts reserve. So that's why it's written that way. The motion will be more specific. The article has to be broad, and then the motion will be specific. So it will say where the funding source. Then. Yeah. So that phrase "available funds" is sort of a placeholder. Correct. Got Usually, it. it's raise appropriate uh, in transfer, but you cannot raise it appropriate at the spring town meeting. Gotcha. The spring special town meeting you can. But you're only seeing the special town meeting. Right. Funny. 
<laughs> you know, we did only printed that out for the benefit of yeah. our capital. The list was much smaller than we had talked about, so you knew where it went. This was sent to the departments, and they have till 4 o'clock to respond with any comments before you see uh, this go out to FinCom, Dick. Then we'll send it to you to circulate to the finance committee. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Shirley, any more questions? I don't think so. Ellie, would you like any questions? No? You all set, Mr. Vandenberg? I am, thank you. Chris? Good. Okay, so entertain a, a vote to um, approve the capital plan as presented. So moved. Second. Motion has been made and second. Any further? This one now or? Uh, one capital plan as presented, which would be the 25 and the special. That's why I gave you a copy of the special. Because our total capital plan is the two combined. We can do it separately if you want. That's, uh, that's fine, whichever way. So basically Article 5 and then. So to take the confusion out of it. So the let's revote that. So the uh, fiscal year 25 um, capital budget that's going to be on the annual town meeting uh, to entertain a vote. Uh, a motion that's, for that. That's the one, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, the one that's in your packet is what I'm looking at. Yeah. So I just need a motion on that that first one, then we're going to vote the special town meeting. Who's the annual town meeting cap? That's what I just said. Yep. So the, the well, fiscal year we point. supposed to do all five together? Or, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Because that's what goes on the annual town. Well, that's what I tried to do for us. So no, but this so is we'll different. Do this is special so you've got a motion and a second. But Stop. Cancel everything that we're motion and second and all that other stuff. So okay. we're, what we're going to vote, <laughs> what I'm looking for now is a motion to approve the five-year capital plan uh, that's going to be on the annual town meeting. Which is this. Okay. So moved. Thank you for the correction, Ellie. I did miss that. Second. Motion has been made and second. Any further discussion? Seeing as none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's all set. So um, any questions on the special town meeting? We already went through that, but I'm just going to make sure. So, Mike, does the motion need to reference the fact that this 50 is, is, is the motion going to No, be I'm not worried about where the money is coming from. I'm going to go by the list of what we have on the special town meeting. Okay. And then and then that will all, as uh, the finance director explained to us, that that will all be identified in the, uh, um, on the uh, article. So the 324-800 is this new motion? Correct. Got gotcha. you. Yep. Okay. Because that's going to include the fifty thousand that's actually coming from somewhere else, but I don't, I don't think we. It's part of our consideration to to complete uh, to create the list, but not now that we create the list. That's a different process. So, <clears throat> looking for a motion to approve the special town meeting as written, uh, capital plan as written. I'm sorry. So moved. Second. Motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? It doesn't say that. <coughs> Capital it, improvement supplemental budget. Yeah, well, that's not what we said. That's on the special town you meeting. You said the so. capital plan. Okay, so do me a favor. I'm looking for a motion to approve the special town meeting. So word it any way you want. Make the motion, and we'll get somebody to second it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this 47 times. <laughs> if you have a concern about how it was said, make your motion. Word it the way you want. If we all agree, then the second, and then we're going to vote on it. Feel free to jump in at any time. I'll move that we approve the capital improvement supplemental budget. Yes. For the special town meeting? Yes. I'll second that. Motion has been made and second. Any further discussion? Seeing as none, all in favor? Aye. 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 We have no minutes. If we have nothing else to discuss, I would look for an adjournment motion. So moved. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing as none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. <laughs>